New on the four, new evidence of the potential dangers of allowing your kids on social media too soon. The American Psychological Association just issued recommendations for young people and social media, and our Shelby County reporter, Ajani Robinson, is on your side breaking these downs for parents. Ajani, what do we need to know? Well, Morgan, we know that there are negative and positive effects to social media use. Those positive effects can be the ability to connect with your friends and family, whereas those negative effects can impact their ability to find their own identity. We know that social connection is important. We know that um, social media is a technological vehicle to do just that. As much as social media can play a positive role in the lives of young people, doctors say it can also be detrimental to their mental health. It's exposure to content, but it's also lack of person to person interaction. Those two things are very challenging for uh, adolescents and the developing brain of adolescents. The recommendations focus on tailoring your child's social media use and monitoring their exposure like take their phones, like take their passwords, um, like do spot checks. Those are things that as parents we don't want to do because we don't want to take their autonomy away, but it's things that if we want to offset those negative effects, we have to do that. Parents, experts also say when you see them struggling or stressed out, that's when you can step in and offer a safe place to discuss what they're experiencing online. If you'd like to know more about those recommendations, head over to this story in our WBRC News app. Reporting live, Ajane Robinson, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.